Hi everyone, Morgan here, and today we are going to be dehydrating potatoes to make instant potatoes. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just cutting up everything. Uh, I did have some potatoes that were like kind of on the verge, and I was like, you know what, what do I do with these? I'm gonna dehydrate them and make instant potatoes. And then some are going in my garden as well. So let's go ahead and just cut them up into the smallest cubes possible. You don't have to be as fast as me. I know I'm super fast. Just, you know, cut them up the very best that you can at your speed. <laughs> Obviously, this is heightened. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> okay, so just cut them all up into cubes, however many you have. Now we're going to boil them, just like you were making mashed potatoes, because technically, that's what we're doing. While the potatoes are cooking, I'm preparing my dehydrator trays with parchment paper, and that, this is what the... Um, potatoes are going to go on. All right, now I am mashing all the potatoes like you're making mashed potatoes, and I'm doing it in my KitchenAid. And then you're going to put them on the trays. You're going to kind of mash them down as evenly and as thinly as possible. Just do your best. It's kind of a nightmare. I'm doing it one-handed, but even two-handed holding them, it's kind of difficult. Just do your best to get them as thin as possible. So here's my best, <laughs> like I said, as thin as possible. It will dehydrate no matter how thick it is. You just want it as thin as possible just to dehydrate a little bit faster. Dehydrate at 125. All right, so these actually dehydrated super fast. I think they were done within about eight hours or so. I actually let it go all night long. It was like 12 plus hours, but when I had checked it, um, like at eight hours, they were pretty much done, but I just let it go. You can't really dehydrate these too much. So, you know, dehydrate them until they're nice and crispy and crunchy and hard. That's exactly what you want because next step is going to be putting them in your blender or any type of mixer or whatever, grinding it down into as fine powder as you can get. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, da, 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 da. instant mashed potatoes, uh, dehydrated yourself. Isn't that wonderful? It looks great. So now the next step is going to be putting it in a mylar bag. I went ahead and I'm going to be storing this for my short slash long term layer. This should last a good five or more ish years. Yay, all done. You did great. Thanks so much for watching. Go to tomorrow by preparing today.